Hello and welcome to all the viewers of this video. Uh, it's fantastic to sit here today. My name is Alexander Jungström and I am the Managing Director at Ener & Partners. And today with me here is my colleague Michel. Hi, Hi. 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 I'm, I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, so my name is Michel, I'm the Lead Strategic Advisor at Ener & Partners. And I think today we're talking discovery. That is correct. So let's speak a little bit about why companies choose to invest in ServiceNow Discovery. And there are two main reasons for this. The first reason is to get an insight into your IT infrastructure. It doesn't matter if it is on-prem, if it is in the cloud or somewhere else, you want to have that visibility, right? Correct. Now, the second part, that would definitely be that you want the data to be... Up to date. Up to date, exactly. Of course. Exactly. Yes. So what better way then to, to, to automate, right? Exactly. Uh, automate data gathering and, and the consolidation of in, uh, information, which leads, of course, to the first value, hmm. better data quality. Exactly. Right? exactly. Uh, so so you, you reduce the amount of sources. Like, if you look at, at, at how you would usually populate a database, it's with external sources such as regular Excel imports. Maybe you have something like SCCM in place. Um, no matter, you usually would need to integrate multiple sources into a database. Mm. And, and discovery, well, would also unify uh, this into one tool, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, exactly. so that is, that is already also another value. Yeah. It, it makes it easier to manage, right? Yeah, yeah. So, but easier to manage is not only having one tool. Right, right. so it, it's as much about the ease of management in terms of educating the staff to using the tool, maintaining it across a long time, scaling the tool. Scaling, yes, very yeah. important. Um, yeah, because that is where, where it differentiates from a, from a tool for me. Uh, we, it's, it's a platform feature, mm. right? Mm. And, and, and a tool is usually a, um, a specific area, a silo, while a platform, especially ServiceNow, addresses a wide range of, of areas and departments within an uh, enterprise. Yeah. And so does discovery in the end. Yeah. Right. But perhaps the most, let's say, common um, factor for all of these things is that when you have one tool, you get a standardized way of formatting the data and you just use this single tool to grab the data regardless of where it is. So yeah. that is, of course, um, a huge benefit compared to what you mentioned, the SCCM and Excel and so yeah. forth. So in, in the bottom line, um, uh, better quality uh, and consolidation leads to better awareness, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and, and this uh, in the entire operational aspect. So, and, and what, what are the benefits of, of better awareness in, in every aspect? Well, it's, it leads, of course, to reduced risk and reduced cost. Yeah. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Fantastic. Uh, so now when we know a little bit more about the why and the value, what are we going to do now? Well, I, I think it may be uh, good that we address like a bit the what, uh, so where do we start uh, with discovery? What are the, the capabilities a bit? Uh, because, um, yeah, actually, when do we uh, consider discovery in, in our roadmap? Right? Yeah, so let's have a look at the roadmap here, shall we? Yes, so uh, we have this, well, it's called item maturity uh, overview. I personally like to call it capability roadmap because it highlights which uh, solution comes at which step mm -hmm. of, of, of uh, you scaling up, yeah. right? And usually we start with the ITSM as an entry point. So either customer have ITSM service now already uh, before, mm -hmm. they did that already a year ago maybe. Right. Some customers they just consider right now going into ITSM and others they, they say let's take the full package ITSM, IT operation management, all, all in one go, yeah. right? Um, the idea here is to, to provide, of course, a unified uh, process across multiple departments, regions, with end-use accessibility in mind, right? We want to digitalize our service catalog, basically. Right. But then, uh, on the, in the back end for the operations, what is more important 
is governance standardization of the, the, the configuration management process, how it is called, right? Mm -hmm. So how do we manage the configuration of our IT landscape? How do, yeah. do we, do we uh, attract this? Uh, how do we put that into place? Once we have these processes, this governance, these ideas in place, well, that is already a solid foundation, but it is still very manual, okay? And, 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 and that is where you would then in the next step consider discovery. Mm. You want to automate as much as possible. And mm. discovery being an automation tool, um, well, it's the perfect first step, mm. right? Mm. So what you're saying is that discovery is merely the tool to populate the data, but you still need to rely on processes to keep that data up to date, to verify the data. Ab so absolutely. I mean, uh, governance uh, and strategy is not to be underestimated or neglected. Right. Um, just putting discovery in place... It won't do much by itself. <laughs> no, no, it won't do. In the end, it's just, it's just discovering data. Yes, yes, yeah. exactly. Right. Um, so, yeah, discovery as such is then, well, first of all, it's optimizing our, our configuration management process mm -hmm. to create visibility into the IT landscape. Um, uh, so basically, and that is what address, you addressed at the beginning, is in other words, we keep track of IT. Yeah. Simple as that. Um, then the other advantage is by, by uh, discovery, well, it's either agentless or agent-based. Uh, the advantage is that we can apply it to a multitude of machinery because, let's face it, in a big enterprise we're not talking about 100 machines that could be tracked in Excel, we're talking about potential, potential uh, thousands and, uh, of devices in local data centers and now going into the cloud, end-user devices. Um, so we need to have different, mean, mean, different means to, to address this. Hmm. Um, which then, of course, is our uh, combined wealth of data that yeah. we are going to put into that central uh, database. And it serves as our foundation mm. for scaling processes into, into the enterprise. Mm. Mm. Um, and we are often talking about incident management here, or maybe change management. But outside ITSM, there is, of course, also like security operations that profits off of it. Um, you have also customer service management that can profit off of it. Software uh, asset management. Yeah, uh, IoT is a very big topic as well. Um, so it's 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 very extensive mm. uh, as such. Mm. Right. And if you combine that with, let's say, the, the strategic pillars that we're referencing, mm -hmm. then you're set for success. You're set for success and all, all your, your, uh, your processes as well. Right. Uh, because now you have the foundation to basically create a holistic picture mm. of your, not only of your IT landscape, but also of the services mm. that you provide inside as well as outside of your company. I mean, you can, you can it's, it's not only IT anymore and, and internal IT. I, IT is, is, is everywhere today in the business. Mm. So, so we need to be able to, to be as, as optimized and as improved in, as possible yeah. in, in most aspects so that we can serve business uh, requirements, our customers, we can serve our employees, mm. we can serve ourselves. Mm. It's, it's all about um, yeah, standardizing, consolidating, and, and thus being able to digitalize. Mm. Excellent, excellent. Good summary. So with that in mind, uh, if you are curious more about discovery, the methodologies around it, and just staying up to date with the latest news, uh, I recommend you to subscribe to the Ainurem Partners YouTube channel, but of course also keep up to date with our webinars and our content through our LinkedIn page. Uh, but if not anything else, then um, thank you a lot for, for the valuable insights. Well, thanks for having me again. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. See you next time. See you next time.